Hello there. In this video, I want to show you how to brush plate black chrome, which uh, the black chrome is from spa plating. And well, I've done it myself only like a few times, handful, four or five times myself. Um, so I'm quite new with this. And last time when I've done this black chrome plating, this was nearly a year ago, I think. So it's not straightforward, it's not easy. And I'll show you what to do and what not to do, really. Um, okay, see how it goes. Let's start. First of all, we go on the website, Spa Plating UK. Put on the top right, there's a search box, Black Chrome. Search for, it comes up, you can see it here, click on there. Uh, now you can see, for example, you can buy it volume here, 200 mil or whatever, 500 mil, add to cart, and then you can, you know, order it here. Um, yeah, what you what I would recommend is a carbon electrode or platinum flat electrode. Here are examples, for example, well, examples, <laughs> for example, uh, um, yeah. Years ago, we played it something there, a uh, door handle or what it was. Here's the example technical tips 8 volts, temperature of 25 degrees at least, carbon electrode. I would warm it up to at least, I worked it out, at least 40, 50. I would warm it up to 50, and it cools down anyway, but uh, I would warm it up to 50, it cools down quite quickly. I would go to the manual here, there's all on the top bar you can click there and then hold on you can see for example when you have a problem what to do and what not to do uh, and most likely you will have a problem uh, unless you watch this video and do it straight away right which is well it's not easy anyway let's start you can look you can also click uh, read this stuff here and you can click here on here, which brings you how to mix the black chrome plating solution. Mix black chrome plating solution. We have done a bathroom top there years ago, many years ago. Um, it should at least 25 degrees, I would say more. Uh, mix the uh, plus, also uh, mix the A and B uh, uh, solution, which is two part solution. You mix it 50-50 uh, and let it uh, fully at least three to four hours. You use it within five days, but you need to, uh, uh, you know, read this all yourself basically and, you know, work it out yourself how to do it. But I'll show you how how to do it. But it's an important steps. It's very, very important steps. If you do something wrong here, then you mess up the whole process. It will not work. Um, Make sure you, you mix 50-50 or not 60-40 or something, which also makes a difference. Right, now I'll show you, well, carbon electrode I would recommend, but I use both carbon and platinum flat, platinum electrode, they'll work both. Okay, um, let's see, let's go back to where we're going. Examples, I think. Hold on, hold on. I need to think. Examples, I think. Let's go back to examples here. Click examples. Click uh, here. There. Click here. Or oh, don't click here. Product details. Okay, product details first. It tells you everything there, or most of it. Play the labels, but I want to be at. Hold on, where is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Manual? Yes, manual. Manual. Um, click there, manual. And then it says practical tips here. Yeah? Um, if you look at here, for example, this is important. Plaque chrome forms a non conductive oxide layer very quickly after plating so it's the best to start one on one end and then you know plate to the other end 
because if you play it over and over and over and it will eventually form a non-conductive uh, layer and that's not good I'll find out the hard way <laughs> so you can't play it over and over and over so you need I would recommend play it from one side play it with a flat swap is maybe the best because you have a bigger area surface area where you can cover and start from one side and work yourself all the way up to the let's say start from the left to the right okay I'll show you this in a minute and this is what you get when you order this from smart planning black chrome part A this is what you need black chrome part B so you mix them so let's say 50 mil of A 50 mil of B then I need I use a glass beaker a glass beaker for the simple reason because I heat this up and glass is a conductor not plastic is not very good to heat up really all right sorry about the shaking a little bit here um okay a and B we have in there black chrome we have a beaker in there we have a tray which all is important we have a measuring cylinder cylinder or measuring beaker so now I use part A in this case all I use 5 mil 5 mil A 5 mil B which order you mix it doesn't matter you can use B first or A first uh, I use a finger use A so use 5 mil in this case I only want a little bit anyway put it in the beaker catching right then use the other one which is the B in this case one is clear and one is not clear you can see one is dark one is clear this the B part is clear as far as I know I think it is clear hold on yes it is um, so yeah and then use the same amount as part A part B is five mil in my case mix it put it in there mix it now I after that I can of course clean the beaker um, then in this case I want to leave it for four hours I I use a timer because I do other stuff in between and then I know okay after four hours I can use it then which is also written somewhere on the website minimum three four hours meanwhile um, I'm, I'm doing this free this is the items where I want to play it onto the black chrome so there's stainless steel there are three of them I use just in case um, I want to gold play them first because you need to gold flash them or gold play it before you can apply you know the black chrome right, I speeded this up a little bit as you can see I'm not plating that quickly really <laughs> I speeded this up so otherwise will the video will take will will be like 20 minutes um, something like this or more um, yeah and when they gold plated rinse them and then I can use them basically right it's nearly four hours now since I mixed them A and B the black chrome together so what I can do now I can use the uh, hot plates what I have here but I don't know I must take the gold off and the beaker and this is a nightmare I could use this one but I don't I use this is why I use a class beaker anyway uh, a plastic beaker I would not recommend anyway for heating up well you can go over 50 but it start melting at one point anyway I put this here and I put a little bit of water in there in a pot here and then I heated it up um, and then measure all the time I get it up to about 50 or so 55 maybe and then take it out and then I can start plating basically so I heat it up to about 50 and uh, now it's cooled down a little bit to 33 which is fine I used a small swap um, well I cut a normal swap because I didn't have a small one because I, you know, you can see the swaps soaking up basically all the solution. It's, it's 10 mil 
of solution in there which is not really well it's just about okay so now I'll do the normal way the normal what I would normally do when I played an item so I'll go over and over and over over the whole area which you shouldn't do you shouldn't go over like this you should do one area first you start say on the top plate for like 10 20 seconds because it plates quite quickly and then go all the way down and when you finish down or you know go from left to right whatever then that's it finish done leave it because this is a very very sensitive you know solution it's not easy to do I, I can I could feel some like something is not right really in this case it, it wasn't right I could feel I could see then scratches appearing and then I worked out okay I do something wrong of course you can see this in the reflection there it doesn't look right fine scratches and so on you can see this there are marks on there can you see this just about okay let's I used MPU get over with MPU uh, I used all the solution basically I used the runoff now um, which is still enough stuff in there anyway don't worry uh, I tried to get over again over the used MPU and get over and got some scratches out and it looked much better but still not right still not right so I go over again but it doesn't it doesn't work so I would not recommend to go over and over again unless you polish it with a polishing wheel and try to get all the marks out but this could be a problem as well you may polish it back to to the gold and then you must start again anyway but uh, yeah I tried but it didn't work so in my case this one well it didn't look good at all well it didn't look good as you can see in the reflection here maybe let's show you in a sec can you see it? not really Let's have a look. Let's clean it again with MPU or so and then see how it looks like. But it doesn't look good. Well, it looks slight scratches, shades in there, a little bit of marks in there, which wasn't before. In there, so I'll, I'll use again a little bit of MPU now, which you can use for cleaning as well afterwards, which is quite good actually, not only for activating and and cleaning, also afterwards for uh, slight polishing. Um, what you could use is a very fine polishing wheel, but you need to be careful then. You need to have a little bit of experience anyway. To do this but you can see in the reflection it's not it's not perfect there's still marks in there not have I'm not happy with it but this is how it looks the color is right the color is you call it black chrome but it looks like more like grayish you can see in the reflection it's not it's not very good and I don't get it out really maybe with polishing I mean polishing wheel maybe I haven't tried this but now I try a different thing right it's now 20 uh, basically in the next day I mixed another lot I need I mixed a little bit more I mixed tw I think 15 mil or so each part left it overnight and now I played like you should play it, basically carbon electrode I heated it up again 50 and it's now 35 something like this I increased also the voltage to 8 volt. Before, yesterday I played it with 7, 6.67 volt. So it needs to be warm and hot, basically. So I can, you can see I played from one corner. I played one corner first, one area. And then I played all the way then to the rest. And not going over that much. Um, apparently it works better because uh, it says in the manual it says it will uh, start 
to get a, a, an oxide layer on there and it becomes non-conductive and this is where the problem starts basically um, after after a while. So then I use the flat electrode and see how this works, which the flat one is a plat uh, is, is platinized titanium, titanium. So it's a platinum electrode, flat electrode, which is not really the first choice, but in my opinion, you should use this one rather than anything else. But we will see. So now I, this one is done now, this is from today, and the other one was from yesterday, what I've done yesterday. It's a little bit better, not perfect, but it works better uh, a little bit, because maybe I use this, you can see it in the reflection, it's a little bit better. On the right it was the, um, from today and the, uh, today, and the other one was yesterday. Right, I'll show you now with a flat electrode. Okay, um, so a flat elect electrode is much, much better because when you use a small electrode like I used yesterday, small swap, you cover only small area. In this case, I cover a much bigger area. So because of oxidation, because when you have a two, when you stop plating like this, um, you need to stop basically and that's it. If you keep going, going over and over, it forms a a layer of non-conductive area and this is where the problem starts and you can see in the reflection it's, it's basically perfect yeah it looks much better it looks basically it's yeah. basically nearly perfect really anyway um so i used mpu again and see what happens what you shouldn't do, what you shouldn't do when you finish with the item, you know. The best is if you use a sw uh, sw flat uh, swap in this case and go from one corner to the other in one go. Also not go over and over again. You start in one corner, you start from the say left to the right. You can see the difference, the difference is a big, big difference in the reflection. And you can't see it that well, but anyway. What happens if I play it over again? And this is where the problem starts. When you play it over again, then it, it started to form a conductive, a non-conductive layer straight away more or less, and you can f see it. It doesn't play it right. It's not doing well at all. Straight away you can see it and feel it, and you know, you know, I wash it off and clean it well. I wash it off now and then use a tissue and. You can see the difference straight away. Marks straight away marks on there, which I would not recommend it's in gone. this case. Yeah, there, you can see them to over to play it again over unless you can use now a polishing mop and polish it out. Maybe this may be alright. But anyway, I, I, this video is very long, so you see how difficult it is sometimes with stuff with some stuff what we have here. Um, Pack room. We had a lot of people who had problems and I, I thought I need to do it myself even I used it only a couple of times really five times six times now maybe so anyway thanks for watching the video is very long um, please subscribe for the next video and put the bell on thumbs up thanks bye